Hello folks, I'm Owens back 33 and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of the Abyss, part number 67. On the last part, some stuff went down. We got uh, kidnapped by Grand Maestro Moe's, taken to Batacle, where we learned, well we know this, but that Natalia is not the real pr uh, princess and she's going to be uh, paying for her crimes, I guess. By Well, she was, well, attempted to pay for her crimes by attempting to drink poison. Didn't happen. Natalia. Father! Traitor! You still live? Father, am I really not your daughter? I... I don't want to believe it, but... The wet nurse has testified. Meryl, daughter of Sylvia, attendant of the late queen. That is who she is, correct? Yes. The real Natalia was stillborn. But the queen fell into despair. So I took my daughter's child, who was born a few days earlier, to her. Is... is that really true, Nanny? How disgraceful, Meryl. You learned that you were not the true princess. You aided the destruction of Axeriuth out of hatred for being ripped from your real parents. No! I did nothing of the sort! Uncle! Would you really believe such a story? I don't want to, but we found an infant's remains buried where she said. Even if that's true, you raised Natalia as your own daughter. It makes no sense to condemn her for a crime she didn't commit. This isn't only about her. You too will die here. The mastermind of the destruction of Axeriuth. With your deaths, we will again declare war on Malkuth. Kill them! What are you doing, Largo? Do not care if strangers do the job for you. <sighs> so this is what you dragged me here to do. Ash, perfect timing. Capture them. Luke! Ash! I just freed you. What the hell are you doing here? Go, now! You rescued us? Then come with us. Shut up! Someone has to hold them off! Now go! Be safe. Ugh, you traitor! Shut up, freak! You betrayed Van and leaked information to Mose! You? A god general betraying the Commandant? All I care about is achieving my goal. That takes priority over my loyalty to Van. Father... Ash gave us a chance to escape. We can't waste it. I know. Come on, let's get out of Batical. All Ash did will be for nothing if we stay. Alright, so yeah. So, we learned... well, we just learned you weren't paying attention. Is there anything up here? No, I guess not. Um, that the real Natalia, I, I guess, was, was, uh, would have died as an infant. I, maybe that's what stillborn means, because they were talking about remains or something. So, that makes some sense. So, there, there's Natalia, or Meryl, she's Natalia, she'd be Natalia the whole game. <laughs> They're not going to call her Meryl, ever. So, you don't have to worry about confusing that. Will it let us go in here? Probably not. No. We need to. We will need to come back here eventually. Well, maybe I'll let us leave this way. Nope. Master Luke, the White Knights have opened the path ahead just as you ordered. Ordered? Hmm. Your hair. Were you wearing a wig earlier? So Ash set this up. Thanks, Pear. Now you need to go. No, I will remain here and do what I can to shield you. It's too dangerous. You must run. Don't worry. Old Pear was my sword instructor. We're counting on you, Pear. Master Gylardia, I pray for your safety. Master Luke, Her Highness is our kingdom's beacon of hope. Please keep her safe. I will. 
See, everyone still cares about Natalia. Um, even because no one really cares that she's not the princess, right? Like, well, that she's not born as the princess. They don't know any better. Stop, traitors! What are you doing? Your Highness, please run! Uh, how did you know it was me? The circus people said you were to be executed for crimes you didn't commit. We didn't know what you looked like, but you were fleeing the upper level. You must be the princess. Now please, run! Natalia, let's go. Right. his name! Hand her over at once! It's true! I am not of royal blood! I am an imposter! Do not endanger yourselves for me! Please, run! We don't give a damn whether you're of royal blood or not! You're the one who opened the hospital for us! You're the one who hired us to work on the port after we lost our jobs! Ah, enough! Out of the way! Stop! I've had enough of this! Ash? You wretch! Protecting the people of Kimlaska is your job as a soldier! Leave this to us! Now go, Natalia! Ash! I see you kept your promise. Ash! Luke! You remember! Go! We can't change this country together if you're always moping around. Okay. Luke, one mistake and I will kill you. You take care of yourself too. Part of the Zhao Desert is destroyed. Head for Anista Marsh. Got it, thanks. There we can leave. Uh, can you talk to him on the way out? Yeah, they they automatically say stuff to you. Like, don't go. We'll, we'll stop them. Go. All right, I think we can talk now. I, I feel like we're done. Oh, <laughs> skit. Yeah, because that's appropriate right now. Yeah, I don't think there's any more cutscenes. We're on the map now, so that's a really cool scene where all the citizens are like, "We don't really care that you're not the real princess. We know what you did for us, so that's all that matters." Which makes sense, right? That's how life should work. You shouldn't have to be born into royalty. I'm, I'm not like, I don't know if I'm speaking, I'm not like speaking from experience or anything here, I'm just, just saying. It's a nice message. It really is a nice message. Although the people playing this probably aren't kids anyway, so <laughs> it's, it's kind of wasted, I guess. <laughs> uh, but we're actually headed to an area over here, which we haven't been to, called the Anista Marsh. Um... I mean, it's been here the entire time, but we weren't allowed to go here till now, so. We're just running at this point. There's no reason. There's no rhyme or reason for what we're doing, so. I hope Ash is alright. He'll be fine. The people of Kimlaska are on his side. Yes, all those people, just for my sake. You can express your thanks by saving Aldrin. We're the only ones who know this world is in danger. Yes. Where does the marsh lead? Belkind, I think. Let's first meet up with Ash there. Belkind is Duke Faber's territory. We'll have to stay sharp. I know. There's something scary about this marsh. Let's pray we don't run into any nasty monsters. Yeah. Also, notice we run really slow in this marsh, but uh, Jade has a point on what he said. Um, there's something here. Not you'll you'll know you'll know if you run into it. It's not this. We're gonna we're gonna kick the crap out of this thing. What's this rotting tree? In? Yeah, it's going down. Hey, look, guys, you get to see some combat now. You get to see uh, Anis actually in in uh, action here. Hey, let's drop a miracle hammer on him. Drop a train on him. Anyone know what that's from? 
from the Homestar Runner. Alright. Let's use some Frigid Raptor, just cause, why not? Man, I'm getting kinda owned here. Dragon Sir- oh, come on. I tried to Shadow Tempest into it, didn't work. Does, uh, she have on Nightmare? She better have on Nightmare. Okay, because the Claire Delarme gets quite expensive there. There we go. Dragon Surge apparently doesn't link well into anything. It's a nice ability, though. I like doing it. But I guess it's kind of like Fang Blade in that it's kind of terrible as a combo linking ability. But it looks really fancy in, um, <laughs> in those, uh, combined arts. The, what are those? Um, combination arts. I, think. I believe that's what those are called. Yeah, those. <laughs> it's really cool in that. So like Fang Blade Havoc, for instance, is really cool. What am I even talking about? Yeah, but yeah, Fang Blade Havoc's really cool. So anything with Dragon Surge in it's pretty neat too. Like dual Dragon Surge, Shadow Tempest, I think too. I found a Night Helm, which we're never gonna wear. So that's good, I guess. Man, this march sucks. Also, I kind of don't know how it works. How did I miss this treasure chest? It was right there at the beginning. I feel stupid. Let's fight this Bullywag, because I'm going to want a piece. Alright, so per wiggle, per ribbit. Oh, we might as well over limit now. Let's use Shadow Tempest, too. Yeah, see, it's, it looks really cool. Uh, when... Oh, no! Don't, don't get out of the way there. Make sure you hold X here. And get the, uh... Link? What? It didn't link. I was holding down the X button. That's weird. Why didn't that work? That's actually really strange. Oh, I'm getting healing circled. Nice. <sighs> See, American Hammer is good too. Similar to Explosion. I think it hits twice though. What? I was in that water field. Oh wait, we don't want to be in water fields here. <laughs> we, like, we don't want to do water attacks, because it makes these guys stronger. We don't want to do any of that. Meditation's good. Take that. There we go. I like using Eagle Dive, just because... Oh, I should be cooking again. I mentioned this in the last part, and I'm not doing it. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll start doing that. Um, but I like using Eagle Dive, just because... I like using any <laughs> skills... That remind me of past Tales games. Also, we just got a Talwar, which is weaker than what we're using, so who gives a crap? <laughs> well, there's a new enemy there. I guess we'll fight this too. Although, we're gonna end up fighting probably a bunch of monsters here in the marsh. I like uh, got Borlet, Elder Pig, or Elder Boar, and Borig. More like Boring, am I right? Yeah. yeah, Cyclone Shot's nice, but you don't expect to uh, get a Mystic Art off, off of it. Not a very good one for starting that. Alright, go get him, guy. Yeah, the Shadow Tempest is nice. Actually, to be honest, Shadow Tempest is not even that nice. I think I think Anis gets some good um, arcane arts that aren't combination ones that are good for starting combos. But her um, her combination arts take a long time and kind of knock the enemy away. And that's something you don't really want in your combos. Oh, well, none of that mattered. Alright, uh, tier leveled up. Uh, so let's make some udon noodles here. Look at that, it's got like 60... Oh, beef noodles, sorry. See, when Anis cooks, she like has like extra ingredients and makes things better. I think she cooks a lot of things with beef. Um, you know what I should be paying attention to here? Is these capacity cores, because I haven't paid attention to these in a while. And I better make sure everyone has something on, like Luke, who has nothing on right now. Stir Forte, why does he not even have that on? I'm gonna have to worry, I'll worry about that stuff um, in between the next video. <laughs> because um, that's really important for getting a lot of the different skills. You, there's definitely some skills I'm gonna be wanting to get, so. All right, let's go. We, we just did this fight, should I show it again? I guess. Well, let's see why not. Oh, man, I'm not blocking at all. Look at I just got owned this Mighty Charge. I don't think Mighty, Mighty Charge is another one of those abilities like Steel, or if you equip one of the uh, phone slot chambers on it, you can get it to heal you. But Mighty Charge is good to use on its own because um, 
it raises your damage, so... It doesn't tell you how long it lasts, though. I have no idea how long Mighty Charge actually lasts for. Okay, let's see if we can actually do this this time. Of course, this guy might be dead by time I get a chance to do this. Okay, he's already dead, but let's see if it'll let me do it, at least. I'm holding X. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> let's make some soba noodles. I, I can't make the noodles now, see? Because I, uh... Because I use that kombu. Let's make pizza. Right, there we go. So that sucks. Like, I'm already out of that. <laughs> Those noodles are really good, but apparently I can only make them once. So let's see if I have something else that I can equip here. That makes that gives you just TP, but I can use ramen. Can I do that? I don't know. I didn't tell you how, but I need. No, I can't make that. I can make spaghetti, it's like the weakest one, but it's something. Oh, here we go. Cutscene! What is it? About that nasty monster that Jade mentioned. It looks like it's more than just a rumor. Is there something here? It's an old story, but they say that a violent monster in these parts used to attack travelers. They sent teams to exterminate it multiple times. They never succeeded, so they instead trapped it inside the marsh by planting flowers that it didn't like. I thought it was just a story, but you saw those flowers, right? You're saying that story's real? What? It should be dead by now, right? We can hope. Is that the monster you were talking about? We'll gain nothing from fighting that creature now. I doubt we could defeat it in our present state anyway. We should avoid any confrontations with it as we pass through the marsh. Why are you so certain we can't defeat it? If you could beat it by brute force, other teams would have taken it out already. Exactly. For now, let's run. We know it doesn't like Reflessia pollen. We can use that fact to make it through the marsh. Okay, and if it does catch up to us, we run immediately. Understood. Alright, so it puts you back at the beginning of the marsh. I don't know why. Maybe because the game wants to be a jerk. But yeah, so basically that monster is just called the Behemoth. Uh, and as they're trying to make it quite clear... Ah, oh, we got back attacked. Do not fight it right now. Or you will get owned. <laughs> um, you can beat it. I mean... I, I did it when I was practicing this um, a while ago now. Um, I had to put it on the lowest difficulty to beat it. I was just curious what would happen. Uh, and it, the game pretty much treats it as if like you ran. You don't get anything for doing it. It's completely pointless. So, so don't bother. Um, Jade pretty much alludes to the fact that we, you can't do it right now. But eventually we'll come back and we'll be able to do it. And it's actually... Uh, important for uh, a title later on. I, I feel like you might get something for it too. Uh, for like actually being the monster, but I know it's used in getting one of the titles. Uh, one of the last titles you can actually get in the game. Uh, but I don't I don't think it's actually that hard to fight. Do we get back attacked again? Fudge. Man. Kidding me? <laughs> Whose fault is that? And Luke trying to blame stuff on other people. Also, is Luke my avatar right now? I didn't even notice. Probably is. You guys enjoying Battle Am Anis? That's what someone called him. Or called her. I can't remember who he was. But yeah. Yeah, you get to actually fight with her and do moves and not just magic. Which, I mean, she normally is doing anyway. I normally have her in the front lines. I mean, you only have so many melees in this game. You can't <laughs> you can't have, like, just two melees and then everyone else back row, right? Run away! It's not run away. It's run away from the skit. There's a bunch of treasure. Let's see if we can get this. Okay. Money. Another fight. Man, so many fights. It's unreal the amount of fights in this part. Look at these, five of these things? You 
dual dragon stairs. Oh, I thought it might hit more. But we're wrecking them hard, and think about it, we're on very hard mode right now. And we're doing pretty good. Okay, I need to... I don't even know why I even bothered to, uh... <laughs> over limit, because I'm not seeming to get my Mystic Guard here. Here we go. Oh, but he's gonna be... Oh no, okay, I thought Flame Burst was gonna kill him. This is gonna kill him. I'm never seeing that Mystic Guard extension. I'm pretty sure I've showed it off, so it's not a big deal. It's a Dying Moon. Weakened by fire. Yeah. Keep making some food. Uh, I think Belkin has really expensive food, so I don't know if I should be like cranking through my ingredients, but yeah, whatever. No big deal. And Mystic Rock. Oh, is, didn't we just buy that? Ah, oh, watch. <laughs> oh well. I mean, money is becoming a unnecessary thing. You know, I might actually just end it at this save point here. There's a, there's a treasure chest over there. We'll probably get that next time, but I don't want this episode to run on too long. I know we didn't do a whole lot. We haven't even crossed through this entire marsh, but this is a good ending spot. So, uh, I've been Owens Back 33. Uh, thank you for watching this part of Tales of Abyss, and next time we'll get through the initial marsh and get our way to uh, Belkind. Well, guess what? It looks like you guys get one bonus fight before the end of the video. How about that? Because this guy... Yeah, that's right, Danis. You gotta do what you gotta do. Is that power hammer from them? I think they're throwing power hammers at me. And also, I just got energy blasted. I'm not, like, I'm not liking that there. Aw, oh, he almost lived for that. So close. If she would've used first aid on him instead of that, um, he would've lived. Not a big deal. Oh, guys, stop dying! What the fudge? Okay, she's gonna use resurrection. Yeah, ground. I'm gonna use miracle hammer. Oh, is this a? Yeah, I knew it was. That's a, the earth one. Yes. Oh, she drops like a giant mew statue on the guy. Yeah. All right. Oh look, it brought up, uh, that actually brought up, uh, Jade's over the mid bar. That's cool. I didn't even know if food did that. Alright, that's cool. Or I didn't realize it, I don't know. Alright, now we're ending it. Until next time, I've been OwnSpec33. Bye.